We are grateful. Uh, so we have some opportunities for ministry coming up. Um, what I'm kind of excited about, because it kind of feels like moving back to the real world again. We are hoping to slowly start having a few coffee hours after church. So if there is a committee or group of people who'd be willing to host a short coffee cookies and conversation, which I like that name, uh, gathering after church one Sunday in October, let me know and uh, we'll get it put into the bulletin so people know to plan to be here for that. Um, and so I think that'll be fun. Or even if maybe we have people who are willing to just come early and start coffee so people can have uh, coffee along with worship, not do the whole big spread. And even the big spread doesn't need to be crazy big spread, just something to have some, while, to nibble on while you're getting to talk to people. Also, uh, Paul Foster, he called a member last week with the church directory in front of him, and he went through every name and asked about them, and he would love to receive cards as he misses and cares about his church family, and his address is posted on the bulletin board out in the narthex. If you don't have a church directory, I think there's some in that little vertical file thing. Um, and then if there's updates to the church directory, always let uh, me or the church office know. Um, the other thing is, well, we have our Alden prayer group Thursdays at 10 a.m. in the conference room. Um, if you are on SPRC, you should know that we're having a Zoom tomorrow evening at, it says 7.30, but I think it's 7 o'clock. Can you send a link? We, yeah, I actually have to send the link today, too. So I will send the link. It will have the time. Uh, we have the Alden Harvest Days bake sale coming up this Saturday. Uh, it'll be 10 a.m. till we sell out, because we always sell out. It'll be in the Tennis Court Park. Uh, we'll have an awning up, 
And then uh, Friday, the day before, uh, probably one of, starting at one o'clock, some of us are gonna get together to come here and bake. Um, if you wanna come and help with that, or you can bake at home and bring your stuff. Friday afternoon over to the church kitchen and we will get it all out there. Um, and if you are able to help with uh, working on Saturday, because I will be in Central Lake doing the Swiss steak dinner, which is also October 8th, and you can call and put your order in and go pick it up at five o'clock, even if you're out doing the Alden harvest days uh, that day. All right, where are we? Oh, October 9th, which is that next Sunday, a week from today at two o'clock is church conference at Kalkaska United Methodist Church. Us along with a whole bunch of other churches will be there for church conferences and it's, they're calling it a hub gathering, but we will have our individual church conference at two o'clock and then after there will be a group. Three o'clock it's open to everybody. No, the church conference is open to everybody. It's no longer just uh, SPRC. Right. We're back to, to non-COVID life. All right. It's kind of exciting. It's these little things that give me great joy. Having moved here in the middle of COVID, like I don't know normal. So, um, and then also looking ahead for all you pasty lovers, Central Lake uh, United Methodist, uh, the week of September. October 17th and 24th is going to be making pasties. Um, and so I know they appreciate some of us go over there and help them out with making pasties. So if you're one of those people, uh, you know to call Carolyn, or if you want to order pasties, uh, we can help make that happen too. <laughs> Which also means I have to finish up the bazillion I have in my freezer because I bought a bazillion last year to make sure it would make me through the year. Oh, so what's right. the price on the pasties this year? Good oh, question. I don't, huh? Good question. <laughs> That's a very good question that I don't know the answer to, okay. but I will find the answer out. We have a couple of views yet. Um, I don't know if they're changing the price just because of all the grocery prices going up or um, it will be similar. So I will find that out. Are there any? Norma? Yeah, Carolyn. For the pasties, I'm not sure. There was before. Yeah, I don't. We'll find out and uh, let everyone know what that is. Thank you. So I, I probably should have said this last week, but I didn't look at my calendar. But the Elk Rapids Choir has a gospel music concert today at 4 o'clock at the Presbyterian Church in Elk Rapids. Awesome. And they're always fun. Watching online and uh, who need the microphone. So there is a gospel concert at the Elk Rapids Presbyterian Church today at four o'clock and the word is it is excellent. So you might want to make a change in your schedule and go see that. Are there any other announcements? Jean? Bob and I and Scott did the parking lot yesterday, but Scott did all the painting. Yay! <laughs> Grandson came to sweep most of them. Oh, that's great. Yeah, nice job. Thank you. Yeah, your grandson gets credit too. He did some hard work getting mm -hmm. that all prepared. So, yeah, we have lines back on the uh, parking lot. And when I was talking to the people from Jerry's funeral yesterday, uh, I said he had to leave so he could go do the lines in the parking lot. And she said, oh, I was wondering about that because we got here and the parking lot was empty and we couldn't figure out where to park because we could barely see the lines. I was like, yeah, because we needed to paint them. <laughs> um, also, that reminds me, this beautiful flower arrangement, uh, the family of Jerry McCulley left for us to enjoy for worship. And uh, so we remember them and their That's kind of exciting. Like the world is going back to how it should be, right? 
All right, if not, let's begin our worship <clears throat> with our praise hymn. And we're singing verses one through three of I Come With Joy. If you would rise as you're able. that has gone before us. May the, the cup, cup of, of salvation pour it out for all. Remind us that God has been faithful to every generation. And this day we gather, drawn in by the Spirit to be nourished by this holy meal. May we taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We are going to go right past children's time because Lillian is homesick today. Um, I guess that's yeah. what you get from being in a bubble for the first six years of your life and then going to school with all those fun germs. So what prayers and praises are on your hearts this morning? She also has COVID, though, so we pray for a mild case of COVID and a quick and easy recovery for Tori, and that even though she's cooped up, that she has a very happy birthday. Lord, in your mercy. Should we knock on some wood or something with that, Darlene? So Tuesday, Earl leaves, um, and then Wednesday he gets to finally, fingers, toes crossed, wood knocked on every other thing you do, he gets to go on his honor flight. It's third time's the charm, right? So uh, we pray for a safe and wonderful trip for all of those men and women going on the honor flight. Lord, in your mercy. What other prayers and praises are on your hearts? Tina? I'd like some prayers for Larry. He's experiencing some serious vertigo, and uh, I know he appreciate prayers for his healing. So Larry is experiencing vertigo, and so we want to lift up Larry in prayer that that goes away and that... Uh, He's headed to the doctor, they get it all figured out and fixed for him. Because that is, I've heard from so many people, that's just awful, having vertigo. So, prayers of healing for Larry, Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. What other prayers and praises are on your hearts this morning? Darlene? Elena has started a new type of chemo uh, yesterday. So Elena has started a new chemo yesterday, did you say? Um, and so we pray that this chemo is in there and that God is in there making this chemo work really well and kill all those cancer cells 
and that God is there in all the good cells in her body that he created, making them strong to fight off all this cancer. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah, praise for, uh, they never like their names shared, but I'm going to say it was Deb and Kathy, and they do a beautiful know that what they do and stuff but they do amazing stuff and they make it beautiful here and they're like little church mice so we give thanks for the gifts of Kathy and Deb and all the people all the little church mice in this church who make things happen for the rest of us where we can just walk in and experience God's presence Lord in your mercy So for all the people in Florida and South Carolina who are um, have been affected by the hurricane, those who are grieving the loss of life, and we pray for all those first responders who are out there helping people, saving people, trying to clear stuff and get power restored and. Um, Food and water to people. We lift all of them up to God. Lord, in your mercy. Well, and I'm going to kind of interject in there because I forgot to say this earlier, but if you would like to give to UMCOR for the hurricane, goes to relief, and UMCOR was already pre staged for this hurricane. They're already there. So um, just write on your offering envelope, Uncor, and then I will make sure that Norma has the Uncor number for where it goes to, and we will get should be sure to get that money out to them. What other prayers and praises are in your hearts? If there are no other prayers to be spoken aloud, let us take. To God, all those prayers that are on our heart, let us go to God in silence. Gracious God, as we come together this morning to celebrate with our brothers and sisters around the world the gift of your life in our lives as we celebrate and remember through the gift of communion, God, we think about our brothers and sisters around the world who are suffering, who are struggling those in Puerto Rico and Florida and South Carolina who are recovering from hurricanes, those in California who are dealing with wildfires, our brothers and sisters around the world who are in war zones, our brothers and sisters in Africa and Asia, and even here in the United States, who are hungry and don't have enough to eat. God, we lift them up to you. And God, we pray that as we lift these people up to you, our brothers and sisters, that we don't forget that we were put here to be your people on earth, that we are your hands and feet, that we are the ones who witness to your love and your presence to all those around us. And so God, be with us as we try to be your love in the world. God, be with our people in our church, all those joys and concerns that were lifted up this morning. God, we pray for each one of them. We pray with, for those who are struggling with illness, 
We pray for those who are unhoused today, who as the weather is getting colder here in Michigan, we pray for each person who is struggling. And God, we pray that you would be at work in our church, that you would bring people to us to love as you love them, that we might fill them with the good news of your Son and your love. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. He taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our prayer response is, fill my cup, Lord. You may rise as you are able. <laughs> than we're used to. Um, instead of a sermon, it's kind of woven throughout the service, and uh, we're going to have Holy Communion this morning, and maybe if you didn't get uh, the cup with the bread in it in the back, you might want to grab one. Um, but we also have people who have gen generously agreed to come and read different parts, and so I invite Rita up to begin. Hmm? Oh, you know what? You're you're correct. I I was going first. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you go walk and sit back down. Or you can come sit down up here if you want, Rita. Because I think you're next after the scripture. Mm -hmm. okay. You can sit there. It's a comfy chair. I know. Mm -hmm. So, the story is told of a little girl whose parents took her forward to receive communion. And disappointed in the small piece of bread she was given to dip in the cup, the child cried out loudly, I want more! I want more! And while embarrassing to her parents and amusing to the pastor in the congregation, this little girl's cry accurately expresses the feelings of many. We want more. We want more than we're receiving from the sacrament of Holy Communion as it's practiced in our churches. And I have to tell you, my favorite thing is uh, when we're doing what we affectionately call this clergy rip and dip, intinction, where you take a piece of the bread and you dip it in, in the juice. Um, I would have little kids, of course, they want a big hunk of that Hawaiian bread, right? Because it's so good. And their parents are like, no, take a little piece. And I'm like, no, you take a big piece of Jesus. And uh, people always loved it. And I always love the kids who get in back in line for a second piece because shouldn't we all want more of Jesus? Mm -hmm. And here in the Methodist Church, for the most part, we participate in communion once a month. Some, some months we have it more than once a month when it's Lent or during Advent. Um, but we don't spend a lot of time dwelling on the mystery of this holy sacrament. And maybe it's because it's a little bit hard to understand. Now, the Greek word used in the early church for sacrament is mysterion, which is usually translated as mystery. And it, and it indicates that through the sacraments, God discloses things that are beyond human capacity to know through reason alone. And that's precisely why we need to spend some time alone with the sacrament. 
And this service is designed to give us more than we usually receive from communion on any given Sunday, because instead of working the sacrament into the surface, we have ordered the service around the sacrament. All the songs and prayers and scripture and litany, it was all chosen to be an extension of this holy and sacred meal, which we're going to share together at the end of the service. And I hope this worship experience blesses you today and that you walk away with a deeper understanding and a deeper appreciation for this holy mystery. Today's scripture is Luke 22, verses 14 through 20. When the time came, Jesus took his place at the table, and, and the apostles joined, joined him. He said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. I tell you, I won't eat it until it is fulfilled in God's kingdom. After, the, after taking a cup and giving thanks, he said, Take this and share it among yourselves. I tell you that from now on, I won't drink the fruit of the vine until God's kingdom comes. After taking the bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after the meal and said, This cup is a new covenant by my blood, which is poured out for you. Word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Over the centuries and in present times, many names have been used to describe this sacrament, and most of them are interchangeable. The Lord's Supper reminds us that Jesus Christ is the host and that we participate at Christ's invitation. The term Holy Communion invites us to focus on the self-giving of the Holy God which makes the sacrament an occasion of grace and on the holiness of our communion with God and one another. Eucharist, from the Greek word for thanksgiving, reminds us that the sacrament is our way of giving thanks to God for the gifts of creation and salvation. No matter what we call it, all of these names refer to the same practice, the eating and drinking of consecrated bread and wine in the worshiping community. On the same day, the women discovered that Jesus' tomb was empty. Two disciples were traveling to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking to each other about everything that had happened. While they were discussing these things, Jesus himself arrived and joined them on their journey. They were prevented from recognizing him. When they came to Emmaus, he acted as if he was going on ahead, but they urged him, saying, Stay with us, it's nearly evening, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with, with them. After he took his seat at the table with them, he took the bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them. Their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he disappeared from their sight. They said to each other, 
weren't our hearts on fire when you spoke to us along the road and when you explained the scripture to us? They got up right then and returned to Jerusalem. They found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying to each other, was made known to them as he broke the bread. As early as the Emmaus experience on the day of resurrection, Christians recognized the presence of Jesus Christ in the breaking of bread. The traditional Jewish practice of breaking, of taking bread, blessing and thanking God, and breaking and sharing the bread took on new meaning for them. When followers of Christ gathered in Jesus' name, the breaking of bread and sharing of the cup was a means of remembering his death and resurrection and of encountering the living Christ. They experienced afresh the presence of their risen Lord and received sustenance for their lives as disciples. As the church organized itself the custom of Eucharist became the characteristic ritual of the community and the central act of its worship. Over the centuries, various understandings and practices of Holy Communion have developed. Roman Catholicism teaches that the substances of bread and wine are changed, although not visibly, into the actual body and blood of Christ, and sometimes called transubstantiation. Protestant reformers in the 16th century rejected this teaching, but had diverse ideas among themselves. The Methodist movement in 18th century England was an evangelical movement that included a revival of emphasis on the sacraments. Brothers John and Charles Wesley recognized the power of God available in the Lord's Supper and urged their followers to draw on that power by frequent participation. John Wesley described the Lord's Supper as the grand channel whereby the grace of his spirit was conveyed to the souls of all the Church of God. The Wesleys knew that Holy Communion is a powerful means through which divine grace is given to God's people. Our sacramental understandings and practices today are grounded in this heritage. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him. That may be the traditional Indian way of wearing it, but I'm not going to do that for this. <clears throat> and who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, If you will join me. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We 
we have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ our Lord. the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love towards us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. So scarcity is a reality in our world. There are so many people, even here in our community where it seems like so many have so much. There are so many who do not have enough. We often worry that we will not have enough, and we compare ourselves to others who have more, and we feel like we simply cannot measure up. Bishop Reuben Job once wrote that there is one place where everyone is absolutely equal. A place where all class, social, racial, economic, educational, and every other distinction evaporates as a morning mist under a bright summer sun. That place of absolute equality is at the Lord's table. Here, as in no other place, we realize our oneness with Christ and our oneness with one another. Each person stands on equal ground. None is lower or higher. And we all come incomplete and broken. We all come seeking wholeness and healing. We all come needy and with empty hands. And sooner or later, we all realize that only God can mend us, heal us, redeem us, and feed us on the bread of life. The table says little and hears less about what we have done or are doing. Primarily, this table testifies to what God has done and is doing. It is here that we become one. Whether we are near or far on this side of heaven or in the next, this table is one of those thin spaces that exists in the kingdom of God, unifying us with all our siblings in the faith. And it is in this meal that we experience Christ in an entirely new way. You'll join together with me on the second verse of one bread, one body.
All of us have different schedules for how we do communion, depending on our denomination and our church and probably even what hemisphere we're in. But on this Sunday, Christians around the world make a point to share communion today. And so we are sharing communion with people on every continent, in every country, Christians from around the world in all different ways and places, and it, it just gives me chills. And you know, because I took communion to her as a shut-in regularly, and so I'm looking forward to getting to share communion with Jerry again today, because this is a thin spot in the kingdom of God, and those saints who have gone before us are sharing with us today. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. And when we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, and spoke to us through the prophets. And so with your people here on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son, Jesus Christ. Your spirit anointed him to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed and to announce that the time had come when you would save your people. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and ate with sinners. And guess what? He still does today. <clears throat> By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. And when the Lord ascended, he promised to be with us always in the power of your word, and Holy Spirit. Scripture tells us that Jesus used bread and wine at the Last Supper with his disciples, and in that tradition, the, those are the elements the church has continued to use. But the history of bread and God's people goes back much farther than that night. Bread is woven throughout the Old and New Testaments as a symbol of God sustaining God's people. God sent manna from heaven when the Israelites were wandering through the wilderness with nothing to eat. God sent bread to the multitudes through Jesus' miracles. Jesus often welcomed to his table and broke bread with those who would be considered the least, the last, and the lost in society. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took the bread, gave thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, take and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. 
at Jesus' table, the cup was filled with wine, and many Christian denominations have used and continue to use wine in the Eucharist. In most United Methodist churches, though not all, some have stations with wine and grape juice, um, we use grape juice that is unfermented, a tradition that came out of the temperance and prohibition movements of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Dr. Thomas Welch, the inventor of Welch's grape juice, was the one who pioneered the use of pasteurization to prevent the fermentation process. And he happened to be a Methodist communion minister. And I'd like to think that we continue to use juice rather than wine because of the open nature of our communion table in the United Methodist Church. This table is open to children as well as adults, and we would never want this meal to be a stumbling block for someone for whom alcohol prevents, presents a problem like our brothers and sisters in recovery. And though it's grape juice in our chalice and in our little COVID safe cups here, you may hear the word wine in our communion liturgy because of its biblical and historical use. And Grape juice is just new wine, it is unfermented. But ultimately what these elements are doesn't matter nearly as much as what they become. When the table is set, this is juice that anyone could buy at the grocery store and bread that could come from any oven. But when they're consecrated and consumed, they become for us the body and blood of Christ. What a holy mystery indeed. In remembrance of God's mighty acts through Jesus Christ, when we come to this table, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us. Every time we participate in this meal, we recite three simple lines that we call the mystery. this mystery of faith together. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. This next part is my favorite because it is such a holy privilege to consecrate the elements, one that is reserved for clergy alone in the United Methodist Church. Now, the first time I got to preside at the table as a pastor, it brought tears to my eyes as I remembered how I heard these same words from so many pastors who were instrumental to me in my faith journey. And all these years and many, many communions later, you will still catch me tearing up from time to time because I consider it such a gift to be the voice that invites the Holy Spirit to transform these groceries into signs of God's grace. We call it the epiclesis in Greek, from the Greek word that means calling upon. So pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, now and forever, and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Because there is one loaf, we who are men, one we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. But this bread which we break is a sharing of the body of Christ. The cup over which we give thanks is a sharing in the blood of Christ. So I invite you to get out your cups. Open up the bottom where the bread is. The body of Christ. 
Christ given for you. Amen. And I invite you to remove the seal on your juice. The blood of Christ given for you. Amen. and been filled with the Holy Spirit. May this meal and this time together sustain you for the week ahead. So let's join together in the last two verses of I Come With Joy, where we began. So I invite you to join me in saying the traditional prayer that is said after receiving communion, which will also serve as our benediction. Eternal God, we give thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Go with God. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Well, I, you, you wouldn't remember, but I, I've told